13, 1868, a Filipina was born with privilege. Her family was one of the elites in the province of Iloilo at the island of Panay in western Visayas. She went to Manila to study and returned to Iloilo as a well-respected teacher. A Filipina school teacher and a revolutionary leader. She is Teresa Magvanua. 1898, I was married to a wealthy landowner named Alejandro Baldera. I gave up teaching and became a housewife. Instead of living a life with comfort and wealth, I decided to learn farming. For I am not afraid to get dirty with the land. I better immerse myself along with the land farmer. I taught myself different skills like using firearms, which is essential to the upcoming revolution in the war. When the war finally reached our province Iloilo in 1898, I then asked my husband if I could offer assistance and join my two younger brothers on the battlefield. The revolution has finally reached Iloilo. I cannot just stand here and watch what is happening. But he declined my request. I cannot allow this to happen in my province. I will fight not just for my province, but for my country as well. My husband doesn't want to get involved with the revolution, but I still took my horse and rode going to my uncle General Perfecto Poblador, whom I have managed to convince to let me join the army. I will not let my gender hinder me from joining the growing revolutionary armed struggle. I will fight for my country. Along with my two younger brothers in the revolutionary movement, I took up arms against the Spaniards leading troops into combat and winning several battles under the command of General Martin Delgado. Despite the odds, I have defeated the Spaniards' battles such as the Battle of Barrio Yuti and the Battle of Sapong Hills. We were able to drive out the Spanish but American troops have moved in the place as the country's next colonizers. I again was once in the front line. With my two ranking brothers, General Pascual Magbanua and Major Elias Magbanua, we took up arms to defend Iloilo against Americans after the Knock Battle of Manila, where the United States and Spain got into agreement to give control of the Philippines to the U.S. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas! I will continue to fight. Eventually surrendering in 1900s to the Americans following the takeover of regional headquarters in Santa Barbara, Iloilo. This war brought me too much sufferings after I have lost my two brothers. After encountering such numerous battles, I have realized that my dream of an independent Philippines would have to wait. I disbanded my troops and surrendered to the Americans in 1900s. World War II has reached. I did what I could do to resist Japanese forces, selling my possessions to purchase food and supplies which I could give to the local guerrillas. My marriage with Alejandro did not produce any offspring. Alejandro died shortly after the Japanese occupation. I moved to Mindanao after the end of the World War II and lived with my sister, Maria in Pagadian, Zamboanga, del Sur. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas!